Today we're going to make something a bit more rustic. White beans, brown dad, chorizo, some beautiful red snapper. This dish is on a whole other level of delicious. So let's begin. The first step is to drain your beans that have been soaking for one night. Cover with chicken stock and herbs and cook on low heat. Next, we're going to make our brand dad. This is a creamy version. Take your bacalao or salt cod, soak it for two days in cold water, change the water as much as possible. Put an equal amount of potato, cover with whole milk, cook on low heat with plenty of garlic and some herbs until tender. Once the potatoes are tender, strain everything and keep the liquid. Now add a small amount of the liquid back in and then blend the mixture with a neutral oil like a mayonnaise. You should add the oil a tiny bit at a time, otherwise the mixture can split. Once your brand dad is ready, you want to keep it in a warm spot. If it's too cold or too hot, there's a chance it could separate. So you want to keep adding the oil until it gets thick. If it gets too thick, you can add more of the cooking liquid back into it. So you should have a consistency like this. Now cook the chorizo, tiny bit of olive oil, and cook it on low heat. When your white beans are cooked, you should add a tiny bit of butter and monte. It should look something like this. So now we're going to cook our fish. Get a warm pan, tiny bit of oil. Season and cook on the skin side down, low heat, shoot about three or four minutes. Once the fish is cooked, we can start plating. So we're gonna start with the brandad, just put a big dollop on the plate, and then use a spoon to make a well. Next, we're gonna put on the beans. So once you have about this much, you should spoon on a tiny bit more of the emulsion and then place the fish on top. Put on a tiny piece of chorizo. And then we're gonna spoon on the chorizo oil, which is left over from the frying pan. And there you are, ready to serve. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see further recipes and techniques, please like and subscribe. Happy cooking.